Hey guys, it's V. I realize that it has been about 500 years since my last upload, or um, actually about six months, but who's counting? And I am here today, standing in Charleston, because I finally, finally, found some kind of inspiration to build in Fallout 76. And after having a long time of really not feeling inspired to build in this game. So I am very happy to share this one with you today. It's an idea that I had for a while, but again, I just didn't have the motivation or the inspiration to build it. So it's a miracle. It's finished. It's here. We're going to do a bit of a walkthrough and hopefully it's hopefully it's worth the wait after six months but um let's not get our hopes up too high nor our expectations please just have a little bit of patience with me um, a little bit of understanding for this video because um i did my best okay i really did my best tom and i hope that you enjoy it and thank you thank you for being there I appreciate you. I hope you enjoy the video. So we are starting the walkthrough now. I started out at the end of the street here just to show that I added some signage and stuff on the end of this building to just kind of bring a little bit of life to the whole area instead of only building my little house. It kind of stretched some some decor items down the street you can see i added the, the plants and my vendor right there is the this uh, fortune teller cart car cart i don't know what it was called but um i really wanted to showcase the beautiful graphics that um, are happening in this build and um another shining example is this tree here it just i mean look at it just look at it it's beautiful so um, as I back up here you can kind of see that I've really gone with a uh, very modern industrial style so I used a lot of different kinds of materials a lot of metal and I included this little clip here because for some reason when I started building here this is what I started with and I got quite a lot finished before I realized, like, that's not what I want to build. Like, <laughs> it was not my vision at all. And so I decided to kind of deconstruct it and reconstruct it. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I didn't want it to be a big cube, a big box, which is essentially what it was. And so I am using the catwalk to pop out this front piece at quarter length which allowed me to have that little balcony off the front, which I love. And um, you can see on this side here, well, hopefully you can't see that I struggled with the landscaping, but I did struggle with the landscaping <laughs> At, on this side of the house. I added that box there that is it kind of has some pipes and stuff coming out of it to be like an electrical box. It just was a really flat space, like a flat space I don't know I tried to add some dimension to it to make it more interesting and I added those little planters in the front along the window there uh, so as we get up to the door you can see that I I wanted to use this speaker as kind of like an intercom instead of a doorbell because I like you would oh, okay I forgot that that happened I wanted to use this um, speaker as like an intercom instead of a doorbell and I thought it was too low into the ground. I, I mean it was too close to the ground, it just was not the right height. So I changed these while well, I'm getting, I'm panicked, I'm trying to speak so quickly. <laughs> I changed the walls to bricks so I could burn them repeatedly until it was the correct pattern. I placed it on top of that little cappy guy so it was the right height. And then you just repair it so that it's um, sticking out just the right amount. I liked having the little pole beneath it. I'm not going to say anything else about that. So as we walk in to the house, you can see like you've got this straight shot back to the kitchen. 
you have this wall of glass that goes out onto the balcony which I really like and it's a really like small floor plan basically every room is just one foundation um, which gives it a very cozy feeling um, this is a merge that I created when I was making my mid-century modern home and it's kind of like a concrete planter they don't those objects don't merge together for some reason but I figured out that if you put it on the if you put the planter on the sheep squatch plushie it you just spin it around until it places and then that works so <laughs> we've got this um, little seating area in the entryway as you walk in and uh, the glass in the back that goes all the way up to the ceiling which really reminds me a lot of my flatwoods home that I did the tiny modern home and that's actually what my uh, inspiration was a little bit was that house I wanted to make that house but bigger and if you would like to check out that uh, video I will link it in the description but after we water the thirsty little plant, we can kind of move on into the living room. It's a very small space and I, I decorated it greatly, uh, which uh, means I did, I, I put a lot of stuff in there. And um, one of the things that I ended up doing was um, using that new light and I made kind of a new light fixture. I realized that it just kind of places right over the top of other things. And I was gonna put it in the dining room because it goes really well with that other light, but I ended up putting it putting it over the top of the light that I already had in the living room which was just one of the base game lights so with the couch I I don't even know how to describe what I was doing here because every time I've tried to think about it it doesn't really end up making sense but you can see I wanted to merge this table down into a sectional of the couch but since it's overlapping I had to burn everything and then for some reason once you burn the couches you can it just snaps into place and it's like o overlapping I don't know if that makes any sense but we're gonna just pretend that it does um, and um, hope and pray that it does make sense uh, so going outside I have this little deck area there's a tree in there that's merged down um, using the rock it's like merged into the rock and I use those little lights that came with the Christmas set the gazebo one I didn't get the whole bundle but I did get the gazebo with the little lights and um, here you can see I am using this blueprint that allows me to place a wall anywhere I would like which comes in really really handy i used it down here to make a sliding glass door i also used it the same way upstairs in the bedroom and i referenced mr church's video blueprint blueprint video if i can speak i referenced his video multiple times just to um, make sure that i had it correctly in here and also i'm running out of time before we move on to the palm reader sign, can I just say that I also added a little track at the top of that door outside. I used conduits and um, and a clock and two clocks to make it look like that door was on a track. And I don't know if I said all of the right things, but we're, we've already moved on in the footage and I'm panicking, but it's fine. Everything's fine. You guys can see what's going on here. But I, but I did use um, that blueprint video that is linked in the description multiple times I mean it's <laughs> it's not linked multiple times but I used it multiple times while I was building in here and um, we're gonna move on from that now and move on to the palm reader sign which obviously I love very very much I was so excited when I saw it in the Adam shop because uh, it reminds me of the plasmid sign in Bioshock which obviously I needed for my Bioshock camp and I will also link that in the description probably just once I won't link it multiple times but I needed a way to make this uh, sign fit on the wall because uh, it needs to be inside my house and this was the first opportunity that I had to use it so uh, you can like just see the footage I merged it into the table and then you can kind of push it back into the wall and it goes into the floor so you can have it on your wall if you would like it um, which I did and then the suitcase I merged in after the fact because I didn't really plan it 
ahead of time and I'd already merged the sign in and I'd already decorated the table so um, I I floated it above the conduit and put it on that shelf so that I didn't have to undo all of my work. Uh, I also just missed out on explaining that I have above the kitchen I just put a catwalk that goes straight across and then I kind of put plants and stuff up there as if it were being used for storage and the kitchen now we're into the kitchen and <laughs> I'm so behind on this footage I can't even cope right now I'm I have my anxiety is so high and I just need to relax because he, like you all can see what I'm doing I made this stove with my own two hands and um, for the countertops I used that little what's it called a fireplace I put two of them together and then I merged those down into the foundation I, I maybe I can um, try to find a foundation merge video I I I don't know I think most people know how to do it at, at this point but since I didn't think ahead with the merging for the stove I just did it after the fact by uh, putting everything onto this metal box I made the burners with the conduits you saw all of that footage and then you can put the box on top of an object I use the jar merge it down and then when you grab the jar and you put it on the countertop it just let like lets you place it in there which is very convenient and I really like how that turned out obviously I could have um, probably dropped it down a little bit further but uh, I'm happy with it I could always go back in and change that because it's pretty simple and it's not a functional grill obviously but I do have the grill outside I don't know why I called them both grills one is a stove one is a stove and then up here I added a light to the fan yeah I mean you can see that with your own eyes uh, and uh, you've probably noticed that like none of the lights are on in this camp even though it's nighttime and that's because I hate uh, like 90% of the lights that we have in the game because they're too bright so I only use like really dimly lit ones there's corn we got corn guys we have corn and the mushrooms um, I talked over the part where I like looked out the window and I had little mushrooms I added mushrooms in the land landscaping so that uh, it makes sense why I would have gone outside and foraged and had them on my little cutting board which I am creating right now and you can see that I took the little mushroom stump put it on that table and then I merged that to be the right height and then I merged the table down below that little plant and set it on the countertop just the same way that I did the stove and I think it looks cute um, who doesn't love delicious toxic sludge dripping mushrooms I know I do so I I'm gonna creepily slow walk over here to my ladder which is a functional ladder I realized although I accidentally sat on the second highest step um, but you can sit on if you if you um, interact with the top one and sit on the top step it pops you up to the loft space which is where I'm currently standing and I just thought that was really funny I didn't even know that was a thing probably people knew that was a thing but I didn't I didn't want to put a staircase in it just took up too much space so I made the ladder using the short rustic uh, bench which is an in-game plan and here at the wall you can see the top part has that zigzag pattern and I made that using these triangle wall pieces so obviously I built right next to this building and if you pulled your foundation away from the wall a little bit more it probably wouldn't intersect at the top but I wanted it to be as close as it was I guess so I was not able to put a full wall at the top or a half wall and I had to use these triangle pieces so what I ended up doing was changing the triangle pieces to the in-game brick material burning it which then allows you to overlap another triangle facing the other direction and then you can repair it and put wallpaper on it and all that and it um, kind of just gives you this zigzag pattern um, 
I would have liked to have the wall go all the way up to the top, I guess, but I don't mind the way it turned out. I think it kind of looks like an interesting statement wall, kind of, I think, I don't know. Moving on to the bedroom, as you can see here, I have created a custom headboard, a custom bed that I'm, I'm really happy with. I love how it turned out. It has this like very industrial feeling with the metal and the wood and the lights hanging down. It just was like perfect to me. It was perfect to me. Okay. And, um, I, uh, decided to kind of go back in and edit a little bit of footage of how you can make this bed a lot easier than I did because when I initially made it, I drop merged it and it was a pain. It was a pain. And so, um, I discovered after the fact that you can actually just burn that actually just burn that and I am, am showing a couple different options of ways that you could use it I think the bunk beds cute I think that little vendors cute you could make it into like a whole bar situation um, and it would be fun so uh, back up here in the bedroom you can see that's the sliding glass door that I made I used um, I had to free place a wall there to kind of make it come out far enough because of these offset foundations that I used um, but that is my little balcony I used the barbed wire fences on the side and the conduits the conduit wires on the front is kind of like a railing and I don't know I'm really happy with the way this turned out I liked using the floor um, the roof the roof pieces as the floor and um, yeah so that will conclude the walkthrough portion of the video I would like to say um, to anybody who has watched the video up until this point uh, first of all I'm sorry and second of all thank you I appreciate your support if that is indeed what's happening I don't I don't know actually if it is or not but if it is thank you um, I would definitely maybe perhaps be interested in making more videos like this maybe I don't know I guess it depends on uh, how I end up feeling about this one I might um, never want to make another one again who knows but it might be fun I could see myself doing more videos like this in Fallout or perhaps in other games I have been building in The Sims 4 for a little while now and that's really fun to me as well so that's an option that I have been thinking about um, let me know if you have any suggestions or opinions or whatever but ultimately you know I'm gonna do what I want to do but I mean, you can like, let me know if you're interested in any of those things. But if you did not feel like gouging your eyeballs out during this video, I think that maybe you might like to consider following me over on Twitch. It's, you know, just like a wild guess. I don't know. Um, I do stream there occasionally. I haven't been streaming recently, but I would like to get back into it more regularly. And it's just basically a lot of like everything that I just did in this video here, which is um, a lot of nonsense. So once again, I would like to say thank you so much for uh, your support, your patience, and to everyone who has subscribed, thank you. We're almost at 700, which is crazy because I haven't even been uploading and just thank you again and happy new year and let's have a good one or whatever
Squish, squish, pop, pop, crush, crush. This is the good life. 